Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the finish script now. And right here, let's go ahead and create a enumerator function. And let's name this as wait for the finish UI. And in here, we will say game object dot get component let's get the box collider component and what we will do with the box collider we will simply set the enabled to false and for how many seconds we want the box collider to be disabled so for that right here we will say yield return new wait for seconds and we want the box collider to be deactivated for 25 seconds after that we want to activate it so let's go ahead and type game object dot get component let's get the box collider set the dot enabled to true and this function is basically for this finish UI box collider okay this box collider as you know we have the finish script right here so from the script we added a reference to this box collider as you can see right here and actually make the O capital right here and now as you can see the error is gone we have a reference to this box collider and the reason we did that is when the game start we want this box collider to be deactivated for 25 seconds because when the game start and if the opponent car hits this box collider it will simply show the you lose finish ui okay we don't want that we want that when the game start this box collider will be deactivated for 25 seconds and when this is deactivated then it means that this box collider doesn't exist right here and after 25 seconds when the car will be gone to some point right there or there after that we will enable this box collider as you can see right here so this was for the box collider now let's create another enumerator function by the name of finish zone timer okay and this function will be for the finish UI okay for how many time we want to show the finish UI okay so when the game when the player or if the opponent car wins then we will show the finish UI and then after some time we will pause the game so for that we will simply say finish UI dot set active and let's set the finish UI to true and as I told you when the finish UI will be activated then we want the player UI to be deactivated so we will say set active false and also we will be disabling the player car as well so let's say set active false that's it and when uh, the finish UI is true and the other two is false after that we want to wait for some seconds so we will say wait for a second and we want to wait for five seconds and after that we will pause the game so time dot time scale will be equals to 0f that's it now right here at the top as I told you when the game start we want this function to be called so right here in the start let's say start routine or whatever it called and then call the function which is wait for the finish UI okay so now whenever the game start the box collider will be deactivated for 25 seconds and after that it will be activated okay after this now let's call the on trigger enter function and in here we will say if other dot game object dot 
tag is equals to the player tag and actually let's go ahead and add this tag to our player so if you click on the player car here is the player car as you can see right here we have this player tag already added and i have added the player layer as well so let me show you how we will do that if you if you don't have the player tag okay then just simply click on add tag and right here click on that and then type player okay like that and then click on save and when and when you click on save then click on the player and it will show the player tag okay just then select the player tag and then for the layer you can add click on that add layer and then type player okay and then press enter and after that get back to the player car and make sure that you add the player layer okay and the same for the opponent car select all of the opponent car and as you know it is for now untagged so i will tag this as opponent car that's it and if you don't have the opponent car tag then click on that add tag and right here click on that plus sign and right here you can type opponent car like that and then click on save okay and after that you can just select all of the opponent cards and add the opponent car tag okay so now right here we are just simply saying that if the if something that is on the player tag hits with the box collider okay this finish area box collider if the player gets hit this box collider then what you want to do first of all we want to call this finish zone timer function so right here in the start quarantine let's call that first of all and after that what we want to do we want the status to be set to you win okay and then we want the status dot color to be color dot black okay after this we will say else if and this time we will say that if the opponent car hits first with the box collider then what we want to do we simply want to do the same thing so let me just copy that from there paste it down below we first of all want to call this and then we want to show to the player that you lose and let's change the color to dot red okay let's now simply save this and as you know we have everything assigned what we can do right now is just simply play the game and we will be still clicking on this finish area and you will notice that when the game start this box collider will be deactivated for 25 seconds so let's go ahead and play the game and as you can see right here the box collider is deactivated now if the player if the opponent cards goes there as you can see the box collider is still activated let's go ahead and finish up the race and after 25 seconds you will notice that the box collider will be activated again so let's go ahead and finish the game okay now as you can see the box collider is activated so now if the player get hit the box collider you will notice that it shows you win now let's wait for some second as you can see when the opponent car hits the box collider it shows you lose okay where is the player car right there as you can see this opponent car hits it so now it shows us that you lose so actually we don't want that we want that if the player hits the finish UI we want to show you win and then we want to deactivate this box collider again so that when the opponent car hits it then there will be no box collider to hit so right here when the player hits the box collider after that we just want the box collider to be deactivated so let's just copy this line and after this let's paste it okay 
and then if the opponent car hits the box collider first then you want to disable the box collider as well and that's it now if we play the game let's wait for the timer let's go let's take a shortcut from here okay Now as you can see the box collider is activated. Let's go ahead and hit the box collider. Whoops. Our car is actually stuck in the factory. As you can see it shows you lose. So guys you know that this will work now. For now I just leave that okay. And if you test it by yourself then this will actually work okay. So let's just end this video right here.